As it turns out, the origin of 90 to 95 percent of all strokes is from a structure off the top left chamber of the heart called the left atrial appendage. Uh, what has, uh, for about eight decades now, uh, the surgeons have been ligating or excluding the left atrial appendage with really rather um, mixed success. Overall success rate has been about 60% getting a complete occlusion of the left atrial appendage. Uh, most recently, a technique has been developed that allows us to ligate the left atrial appendage, utilizing the same sort of suture approach that the surgeons have been utilizing for decades, only now achieving a success rate of about 98% uh, with a closed chest procedure. They call it the Lariat procedure because the snare by which you deliver the suture uh, appears to look like a lariat or a lasso. So what we do, we use a combined approach. Uh, we go in from the femoral vein, uh, pass a long sheath across the chambers of the heart, poke between the two top chambers of the heart to get the left side of the heart. And then we also uh, make a small incision right underneath the rib cage, and then we pass a guiding sheath between the heart and the sac of the heart right outside of the left atrial appendage. At that point, we pass two magnetic wires that meet one from the inside of the heart onto the structure, which is a pouch off the left atrial appendage, and another one that meets from the outside of the heart. These magnetic wires then create a rail uh, by which we can pass a lariat, which is a circular snare, up over the appendage. At that point, we can close and open the snare at will, confirming by angiography as well as by continuous ultrasound monitoring from the esophagus, with what's called the transesophageal echo, that we have effectively closed the left atrial appendage. Once we have confirmed that, then we deliver a suture and remove the lariat snare. And that excludes the left atrial appendage, again, which is the pouch that comes off the top left chamber of the heart where most clots occur.